hi welcome to my channel how you are doing hope you all are doing fine you all are doing all right if it's your first time here you are welcome what i do on this platform i react to different kinds of videos politics to be precise from africa and other parts of the world so if you are interested in such content do not forget to subscribe before leaving this very platform and for my returning subscribers you guys are awesome i appreciate you thanks for your support before we go further in this video today let me put out a disclaimer out there on this channel we don't promote violence we don't promote tension we only react to political videos out there guys let's watch the video together and at the ending part i'll be back with the rest of my thoughts in this very video thank you president who was working hand in hand with the west today what happened to nigeria nigerian going to BRICS summit they were not accepted in BRICS. why because nigeria you know is not nigerians but as the government we call nigeria that is the government of nigeria is a threat to african liberation that's why they rejected them from joining the BRICS. nigeria the last BRICS summit nigeria went there with an application of joining BRICS, it was cancelled. They must reapply again. Why do Nigerian uh, application to join BRICS was cancelled? Why? Because Russia have seen Nigeria as a threat. Because Russia trying to show Africans away, and Nigeria, as uh, as Nigerian government, the chairman of ECOWAS, standing to block that way. Do you think Russia is not knowing that? Do you think Russia is not calculating that into into their own mission? That is a mission of Russia. So if as Nigerian president, the ECOWAS chairman, who stood up with the West and the West using him to destroy the plan of Russia. And you expect Russia to accept the, the Nigerian appli government application to join BRICS? It is not possible. That's why it was rejected. So that is bringing Nigeria to a mess. One man is bringing Nigeria to a big mess. You see, that's why a lot of the Nigerians when they are talking about hey, our president is this our president is good you don't understand you are you are destroying yourself not that president not peoples supporting that president in nigeria you are destroying yourself because that president hold your economy he feed his family with your economy he feed himself with your economy he can never be poor you poor citizens will suffer when any difficulties come to that country you have to understand that point when any difficulties came into Nigeria, the Nigerian citizens will suffer. And still we have some Nigerian citizens who say, no, don't talk about our president. Bolatinibu is a good president. But today, Nigeria has been rejected from joining BRICS. Any difficulties that came in Nigeria today, you who is supporting Bolatinibu, you will suffer, but Bolatinibu will not suffer. Bolatinibu family will not suffer. They will still enjoy your own tax money. You pay tax, no matter how you are poor, Bolatinibu is still forcing you to pay tax. And you are supporting him, dying for, dying for him. But you are still poor and suffering. In that difficulty, you are still paying taxes. Those taxes the government is enjoying. Understand this point. So whatever sufferation that Bolatinibu will cause in Nigeria, you, the peoples, will suffer. The citizens will suffer. But Bolatinibu will not suffer. That's why we go against these puppets and these peoples who become a threat to African liberation. That's why we go against them. Because we are not seeing them. We are not seeing ourselves. Because as for me, I can sit down in my house and go to my work every day and come back home and sleep. I will move on with my life. No matter what the government do, will not, will not make me suffer because I will hustle and make my money. But how many poor people are living in that country with hope that the government is going to do best? And the government is going to choose the best part for them. That is going to make the country easier for them. But as you supporting Bola Tinibu, and now BRICS, but Nigerian Bola Tinibu, the same Bola Tinibu. But why did Bola Tinibu was not the one who went to BRICS with the application? He sent someone. He couldn't go because he felt guilty by himself. Because he know the actions he made. Bola Tinibu cannot go by himself. In South Africa with BRICS, uh, with the application to join BRICS. Bolatinibu cannot go by himself. 
He know what he did. So he sent someone. And that person was rejected. The Nigerian application to join BRICS was rejected. Italian application to join BRICS was rejected. Why? Because Italy is a Western country. So all Western countries are threat to BRICS. They must not join BRICS. And any African country that is in support of the West, or you are in hand and hand working with the West, you will not be accepted in BRICS. Because you are an enemy of BRICS. And you are an enemy of Africa. Any African country. That's why Nigerian application to join BRICS was rejected. They may reply, reapply again, we see what we can do. But it will be rejected. And it was rejected. They may reapply again. They have the chance to reapply again for joining BRICS. al kablen need to have its own vision. Until al kablen unite as one, one currency, no border, etc. We can depend on other countries. We can depend on other countries. We must stand independently. Good. A very good comment. I love. I love that comment. You know, that's nice, you know. al kablen need to have its own vision. Until al kablen unite as one. That unity, we have been crying for that unity. But how did al kablen is going to be united? Is al kablen going to be united by itself? My brother, your comment, I want to expand it a little bit. Is al kablen going to unite on its own? I think people living in al kablen need to unite that al kablen Who are those people living in al kablen We. So when we unite, al kablen is united. When we divide, al kablen is no more united. So we need to deal with ourselves and try to make sure that that unity stands. The unity we are crying for. And that is the fact, your one thing in your comment. That we cannot make it if we are not united. Africa can never be free. This is why they put borders. This is why they make more currencies. For us to be remain where we are. When we understand that that is a strategy. And that is like, just like a part lock. To ununite us is a part lock. More currencies in Africa is the key to that part lock. So when you understand this. A part lock and a key. So we know the padlock and we have the key. So why can't we use the key and unlock the padlock and be united as one and move forward and develop ourselves? If the padlock that lock Africa is the unity, then the key to that padlock is the currencies, many currencies in Africa. Why can't we use that and unite and free ourselves? We can free ourselves. Just that we still believe that getting united is not the best thing. We have Africans who hate themselves and hate Africa and appreciate the West more than themselves. Like ECOWAS leaders who gather together to make sure that because they want the West to be happy about ECOWAS. They don't want the West to be angry about them. ECOWAS leaders are leaders who want the West to be happy about them, for the West to say, oh, you people are doing a great job. But they don't want we, the Africans, to tell them that, oh, ECOWAS, you people are doing a great job. They don't feel as same when we tell them that ECOWAS leaders are not doing a great job for Africa and they are coward in Africa. They don't feel as same of that. But if the West tell them that you, the ECOWAS leaders, are not doing a great job, they will feel as same. So that's why they we are commanded by the West, used by the West, because ECOWAS is a project built by the West and constructed by the West. Every rule and regulation in ECOWAS is for Welcome back, guys. You've seen the video for yourself. Let me know what you think on the comment section below. Let's interact together on the comment section what we think about this very video we just watched guys where i really can't explain what is happening in africa a lot is going on especially when it comes to politics the politicians are indeed playing politics lots of citizens of africa different african countries are not happy with what is going on presently 
But just let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section. I'll see you in my next updates. Have a warm regards. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.